Okay, I'm back and here is part two of the CTG catalogs and where we left off was the Turkish body polish. Okay, I'm back and uh, here is the Keep It Fluffy Turkish Bath Body Polish. Let me open it for you. And um, again, this, this was pretty much my favorite product from the Be Never Boutique. Um, you know, it, it was just so decadent and, and um, it had pink fluffy cream and then it had these little cocoa butter pearls I call them you can kind of see them they're like solid masses of uh, of rose oil mixed with cocoa butter right so you um, you just get this and you smooth it all over your skin and uh, let it let steam in there with the, the hot water from your shower or tub and then you just rinse it off and your skin is wonderfully soft and smells like a treat. And here is the uh, recent version on 2013 of the uh, product and it's called Turkish Delight Shower Smoothie. And um, it's made by Lush currently and this is what it looks like. It looks like some kind of some kind of dessert, does it not? And uh, the smell is so divine. I can't describe how wonderfully rose and creamy this smells. Mm. So, interesting thing is, uh, they look they look very much alike in the consistency. So, um, I believe it is the same the same uh, same kind of product. And so, I'm going to go ahead and put a clean finger into it so you can see what the consistency is like so it's a it's creamy um, it smells so good it's it looks like something edible right and then you have these uh, whoops these uh, cocoa butter globs in the middle of it all stirred up and they melt and oh it's just so decadent and wonderful and let's see if we can get a uh, ingredients list here somewhere hmm I bet we can find one here let's see yeah so we have um, glycerin rapeseed oil coconut oil sweet almond oil cocoa seed butter, rose damascus flower oil, rose damascus flower extract, jasmine flower extract, bitter orange. Um, so I highly, highly, highly suggest you uh, get some of this. This is a smaller container. Lush also s sells these in a, in a larger container. So that was, uh, these two lovelies were uh, made because the uh, CTG product, Turkish Bath, was so wonderful. And so, let's see what else we have here. Look at this. Look at this. This is a soap, folks. Right? And this one, apparently, is in the same scent. So it's called Rosa Rubinosa. And it's a moisturizing soap. And it's in the same fragrance. And... Uh, I don't know about you, but I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to try some of that, right? I have a, a a lush keep it fluffy, or actually a be never keep it fluffy soap that is this color, same fragrance. Of course, it doesn't look as gorgeous as this does because it's made in a flower shape. Very pretty. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, here's a honey when I wash the kids soap, and. Uh, this was a real popular product in the cosmetics to go days. Uh, it's kind of caramelish, it says. Um, this product caused a storm when it was presented at a new product meeting. We all wanted one. In fact, it might be worth ordering too. Yes, I hear that. Um, <laughs> so, this is Honey I Wash the Kids, and this is one of Lush's most popular soaps and fragrances. Here's a piece of uh, Lush Honey I Wash the Kids, and um, it's just yummy. Lush makes a lot of products currently that are in the same fragrance. They have uh, 
the It's Raining Men shower gel and the Ma Bar bubble bar and uh, other various products. The Honey Bee Ballistic is in the same scent. So, um, so this has been around since uh, 1992. Okay, so that's uh, 21 years ago. Holy cow, right? Real popular soap. Love it. Okay, let's see. Here's a bunch of fish-shaped fish soaps. We've got Baby Jolly, Mummy Jolly, Daddy Jolly. We have Black Currant and Fruity. I'm going to take the Baby Jolly fish. It has Black Currant. Good grief, it smells so good. I mean, it, it smells so good. <laughs> I think it would smell so good. <laughs> yes, I'm kind of uh, wishing really hard that I would have tried these products. They have something, or they had something called a ration book in the uh, CTG days, and you can just, you know, reorder vouchers, and they had a lot of stuff, uh, offers and specials and such. And um, you could, you know, fill this out. And here is the um, a range of uh, products. And uh, Bee Never also sold these products. And uh, in a minute, I'll show you them in another catalog. All righty. Let's see what else. We have another one, and this one looks like it's another Christmas one. This is 1991. 1991, holy cow, 22 years ago. What was I doing in 1991? I don't know. I was probably up to no good. Let's see. Here is uh, some perfume. It's a, it was a range, and it was called Glamour Puss, as you can see. And they had various products. Here's a bowl of cream. And that was a body moisturizer. And um, they had Pur Drops, which is a bath oil. And what else here? They have some powder, some talc powder. And uh, we have some something called Alley Cat, which is a, a soap in that same fragrance. And... Uh, the perfume, which was called Perfume, uh, is right here. And um, they were all, I love the, the earthenware, the clay pots. These are really cute. And uh, so this is Perfume. And uh, this has some Yang Yang. And let me see if I can focus this a little bit better here. It's hard to do since I'm holding the camera. Hold on. There we go. So it's made with rose flowers and yang yang and coconut oil and uh, cocoa butter. Well, the perfume isn't made with cocoa butter, but <laughs> rose yang yang and honey. And um, it just it just smells so good. So so very good. Let me see here. So that's the. Glamour Puss. Those are Glamour Puss products. Here's some more of the uh, Hot Toddy Bath Treat. Foaming Bath Oil. They had something called Snowing Bath Oil. I so want to know what this was like, don't you? Very cute. I love their products. were wrapped so, so, um, whimsical and brightly colored and it just looked like a party like Christmas presents okay we're winding down <laughs> I wish I could go through every single solitary page with you but we just wouldn't have enough time okay here are some products called Africa Companions and Lush sold these products when they opened up their Be Never Too Busy To Be Beautiful boutique and um, I was fortunate enough to try most of these products. And the one that I will talk about mostly here in this uh, Africa Companion range is this lip balm called Balmana. Okay. Um, it has banana in it. 
and um, various things. Let me see if I can find the ingredients list. I know it has bananas in it, and it has, uh, oh, what was the other flower? Oh, I just can't remember right now. But my point is, this lip balm was the best lip balm I have ever tried, ever including current ones that I have. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a lip balm aficionado because <laughs> I used to smoke. And um, because I used to smoke, I had very dry lips. And so I was constantly looking for lip balms that would um, keep the moisture in my lips. And um, I've used every possible lip balm that you've ever seen in your life and I found some many good ones however Balmana was the best oh the smell on this thing just had me it had its grip on me it was very light though it was um, very light maybe gardenia and a little whiff of banana and it was so moisturizing there was nothing in there that would you know, irritate your skin. Um, I just wish, I wish and pray that Lush will somehow, somewhere, sometime remake this Balmana moisturizing balm. If you, if you see some, if you know someone with some, or, or whatever, <laughs> please at least smell it. It was so gorgeous. Okay, I think I'm done going on and on about that one. And let's see, let's look at some more ranges. And uh, I'm not going through every page, but I am going through almost every, all the ranges of products. There are a handful that I'm not going to be able to get to, though. And um, so, again, here's their ginger, ginger fragrance. They used to sell this in something called a ginger crate. And... Um, it was in a crate box there with some ginger perfume and soap. And this is CTG catalog number seven. And let's see what we have in here. Um, okay, we have ballistics and uh, bath bombs, as they call them, and, and uh, what they look like unwrapped and description, uh, descriptions of them. We have something called peppermint cream, vanilla pops. So there's the vanilla pops right there, and there's the peppermint cream. There's the grumbler, which is right here, and the red hot soaker there, the aqua sizzlers right there, and blackberry bath bomb, which we have currently today. Lush sells a bath bomb ballistic called Blackberry Bomb, and it was first made uh, when Lush was CTG. And uh, it's the same same fragrance. Uh, back then, of course, they used to have a cool packaging, made it look like a, a bomb with a fuse. And uh, I think Sultana of Soap that Lush sells today in their stores is the same fragrance. So if you want to know what this uh, ballistic blackberry bath bomb smelled like, just smell the blackberry bomb or sultana of soap. And here we have the grumbler. Let me see if I can find it. Where are you, grumbler? There we go. And let's see. It says the spearmint in a grumbler in a grumbler, muscles in on the stress, melting away your tension. And so we have a grumbler right here. It says, it's enough to raise the Titanic. Isn't that gorgeous? And the smell, I mean, I, I know you're not going to believe me when I tell you that, that I can still, it still has a fragrance in here, <laughs> but it does. Mm, I just, I don't know, it smells sort of, sort of minty, sort of a, a little herbal, um, mm, it, and it has a lightly perfumey kind of uh, fragrance, very light, oh, it's wonderful. 
Okay, and let's see what else we have here. Um, here is something called their peppermint cream um, bath bomb, and it looks like that. And of course, it has peppermint and such. And so here is the peppermint cream bath ballistic. And let's see if the label. Let's see what the label says. Okay, it says, "Please don't eat me." Smooth, creamy, and slightly Moorish. Before you realize it's it, the water's cold. Run the bath to depth and temperature that you like best. Pop in the tablet of smooth, creamy salts and join them. They may not completely dissolve, so fish them out and save them. They're too good to throw away. Mm. This smells, as you would expect, it smells very light, but uh, you can tell that it's minty. Okay, now let's see what else do we have. Um, we have a ballistic here called Champagne Bath, and uh, it looks like that. And uh, let's see, here's the Champagne Bath um, Ballistic. And let's see what it says in the label here something to celebrate. Someone to celebrate with? You'd better think quick. Champagne is n never the same when the fizz is gone. Just before you experience the awesome depths of your bath, slip one or two of these sparkling salts into the water and be amazed as a sudden lightheartedness overtakes you. A definite must. Um, this one, I can't tell you what it smells like. It's just, it's, it smells so gorgeous. It's almost like, it reminds me a little bit of the um, Champagne Snow Showers scent. Um, it's very light, of course, because it's so darn old, this thing. But um, it has a very light fragrance, and it kind of smells to me like the Champagne Snow Showers. Kind of a, a citrusy, fizzy kind of a fragrance there. Okay, and now, ooh, these looks, I love these, they look so luxurious. These are the foaming bath oils that CTG used to sell, and there were um, White Days and Violet Nights and something called Saucery, and um, let's see if we can read, read about them. Um, Few of those madly expensive, luxurious perfumed body lotions offer real help to thirsty flesh longing for nourishment. That's why it's fun to come upon reasonably priced product that does. Violet Nights Bath Oil. Deep purple. It looks like something straight out of Raiders of the Lost Ark, but in the bath goes milky white, leaving your skin silk and smooth. So, um, this is just one of the prettiest colored products and Lush came out with this as well in their retro section uh, a couple of years back and I had the misfortune to to miss that so um, however um, a wonderful Lushy gave me this bottle of Violet Nights and um, I used to have a little bottle of Violet, Violet Nights, and I used it, and then I threw away the bottle. So here it is, and uh, let's see if you can see how purple it is. It's hard to get the color right on the camera, but uh, you can kind of see it's got this really, really blue-purple dark color, and it smells like violet. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour some of this in there so you can see the color of it. All right? So this is the color of the Violet Nights. And it's, a, it's my favorite color, um, purple. And it smells like violet. And um, mm, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I really wish... Uh, they would make this again so that uh, this time I won't miss it because I'm almost I'm almost done using 
what I have. From CTG. <laughs> it's called Gridolin Rainwater Shampoo. Um, I just bet it smells wonderful. I want to I want to have rainwater shampoo. <laughs> and I'm hoping that Lush brings this back for retro sometime because it just sounds so wonderful. Okay, we're moving on. And here we have um, some perfume that uh, is called CTG 29 and a half perfume. And uh, if I can find it, that would be really cool. <laughs> okay, here we go. So it's 29 and a half, the fragrance. And um, let's see if we can read. It's feminine and sophisticated and it's a floral. It's kind of exotic and it says sweet and woody with a rich and round floral bouquet. It's got lemon, bergamot, uh, tuberose and broom, yang yang, sandalwood, jasmine, and narcissus. So there is the, uh, the front door of their shop in England, which is 29 and a half High Street in Poole, England. Excuse me, sorry for dropping that. Um, just real recently, here in 2013, Lush has opened up this original shop here and refurbished it so that they're now selling. It's now a store. Um, it's called 29, uh, the 29 and a half was the office next door. So, uh, this perfume smells pretty darn good, and here's a here's a uh, here's a here's what it looks like, twenty nine and a half, and uh, in that um, video of all the perfumes that I have, I um, go ahead or no, it's actually a different video. I it's a video where I review and compare uh, the new Lush High Street perfume with HQ perfume from Lush and 29 and a half perfume from CTG um, because many people were wondering if they do in fact smell the same the 29 high and the 29 and a half and they do not smell the same um, this however smells gorgeous as you would imagine and uh, let's see what else. There's some really fun items here that I'm going to show you. That uh, Oh, I forgot about the damp squid. Yes, yes, yes. Here's a ballistic that CTG made. It's called um, Damp Squid. And it's so cute. You know, it's so cute and, fun and very fun to play with in the bath. And I believe I have one here. It's a damp squid bath ballistic for him special, and um, it is covered with the you know cheesecloth, and it's knotted, and it has the little eyes, and it has the long tentacles, and the ballistic smells really good. It's got Irish moss powder, fine sea salt, rosewood oil, patchouli oil, pedigree oil, yang yang oil. Um, it's kind of like, if you guys like the Lush Silent White Ballistic, it has, so it smells similar, although this is more comple complex and a little stronger. And um, so this just smells so good. It also smells a little bit like that Tangle conditioner I was just talking about. It's a, I can't even describe the scent. It's perfumey, but it's, it's fresh and... Ugh, if you have a chance to smell one of these, I highly recommend it. And um, so that's the damp squid, as it's called. And now let's look at some other products that are really yummy looking. Let's see if I can find them. Hold on one second, and then I'll come back and find those products. Okay, okay we're back, and uh, I've got another CTG catalog. And look at this. We've got uh, some products here. We have hard water shampoo. It's called Rainwater. And then we have soft and hard water shampoo. Okay. Um, 
I know if you recall, it was a couple of videos back where I talked about, um, it, it was on uh, the Lush Times from 2003. They had a uh, uh, new products called Hard and Soft Shampoo Truckles. They were hard shampoos. I'm wondering if this was the precursor to those. Um, gosh, I wish I could smell them. The fact that it says rainwater on them is, uh, it makes me want to try them. Okay, here are a couple pages in. We have the Violet Nights bath oil that I was talking to you about. And it's violet, but it turns creamy white as it hits the water. And another violet product was their violet soap. And then another violet product was their violet fondant um, dark chocolate and violet massage bar. Now, um, in my opinion, the dark chocolate and violet massage bar is, uh, that definition goes with Lush uh, massage bar called Choco Lala. Because Choco Lala was chocolate and violet as well. So I'm wondering if that was the same smell. I'm thinking it is, and uh, I have one, a couple of the Choco Lala's in the refrigerator that I showed in my massage bar time capsule video. And um, I, I just love it. I love this. It smells real chocolatey, and then it has that uh, sweet floral uh, violet underneath. I'm also wondering if the Sweet Violet Soap was a precursor to the Lush Soap called Gratuitous Violets. Interesting. Okay, now we can look at some other things like their Strandalooper group of products. And Be Never Too Busy To Be Beautiful Shop sold these products as well. And um, I was fortunate enough to try some of these when they sold them at Be Never. I ordered through uh, online and had them deliver it here to the States. Now, Tangle Conditioner. I think a lot of Lushies will tell you that Tangle Conditioner was one of the best smelling things. <laughs> I love it. I can still bring up the smell when I think about it. And... It's, it's got a petty grain in it, and it's got some oak moss, and um, I think it's got some juniper berry oil, and um, let's see, some, some uh, what did it smell like? It had some spearmint in it, and eucalyptus, lavender, peppermint, and uh, something called guayac wood. I hope I'm saying that right. And it smelled like... Um, if you've ever smelled the ballistic that Lush used to sell called Silent White, it, it smells kind of like that, like uh, like it has petty grain in it, but it's it's more complex, this Tangle reconditioner. The scent on this lasted in your hair forever. That's what a lot of people liked this for, was that it just left this wonderful fragrance on your hair forever and ever. And... Um, here we have the Serpentine Shampoo, and uh, they were sold together at Be Never. And uh, what else do we have here? We have Strandalooper, and we have Black Tang Shampoo, which was also sold at Be Never. And so I had the, uh, the luck to try those products. And let's see what else we have here. Okay, we've got some more little fish soaps and whatnot. And so let's move on to the last few products here. And, oh, here's a perfume. And this is called Elder Perfume. And it says, young at heart. And uh, it's a fruity herbal combination with a bittersweet setting. It's got elderberries. It's got neroli, lavender, and armoire orange flower, and jasmine absolute. And um, here's, the, here's the elder perfume. And um, let's see, here's the, here's the, uh, I can bring it in focus. Here's the label. And I show this in my video of my 60 or so perfumes that I have from Lush and CTG and Be Never. 
and uh, it's a wonderful floral scent, which is fruity. I just love it. Um, it's soft, and uh, it's feminine. Great stuff. Okay, oh, here's something interesting. Here's Kistia toothpaste, and uh, let's see if I can find Kistia toothpaste here. So here's some Kistia toothpaste. Let me try and focus here. And uh, it's got, uh, you can see it's kind of a pink color. And uh, let's see if we can read the ingredients here. So peppermint and vanilla and eucalyptus and rose auto. And uh, I believe it might be the same the same taste or same ingredients in this, but I'm not really sure. It might have different, might just be called Kistja and um, have different ingredients. And I'm reading here, and it does in fact look like it has different ingredients than the Kistja toothpaste from Benever. It looks like it has tea tree, eucalyptus, peppermint, vanilla. Okay, so this, this does have some, it shares some ingredients with this Kistia toothpaste. We've got the peppermint and the vanilla and the mint. So it does, does share some some ingredients. So that's called Kistia toothpaste. And uh, I apologize for the the blurry blurry camera here. So cool toothpaste and. Let's see what else we have here. Um, we have Mistress's lipstick and Lush, or rather, uh, Be Never Too Busy to Be Beautiful Boutique sold a mistress, Mistress's lip, lipstick, and it was sold in one of these earthenware uh, little pots, and um, it was a liquid lipstick. A and couple of other products. Uh, we have the steam cream here, and. Uh, I don't know if it's the same kind of product, but the name is the same. Uh, CTG used to have a product called Asa Steam Cream, and um, it looked very much like this and smelled very much like this. And so um, it's a very light herbal cream for face or body, and it's really nice. It's not greasy in any way. Here are some um, lip color. Uh, beaten copper, and this is from CTG, and it has their. Uh, it's from one of their lines, and I can't remember what the name is, um, but it has a real pretty design on it. So these are a couple of lip colors. So we've got. Oh, look at this. Blue pearl, very pretty. And then we've got a CTG Nights in White Chocolate massage bar and um, let's see if we can read it here it says nestle up with the ultimate in temptation this wonderful simple yet uniquely exotic massage bar it's got white chocolate it's got cocoa butter it smells wonderful it feels wonderful this is the the third one I have I've used up the other the other two. Um, they had a, Lush had a, a body, or excuse me, a bath oil that was also called Nights in White Chocolate. And so this is uh, the same scent as that. And then we have here, uh, oh, one of my favorite products over at Be Never. And this is from the Africa Companion range that CTG um, began and then later was sold at Be Never stores and this one's called Hand Luggage and um, the Africa Companion um, was had a lot of items that were uh, scented with some banana uh, the Balmana lip balm that I gushed over in, earlier in the video is uh, in the same same um, 
Africa Companion range. And so here's a bubble bar. It's a square, hard bubble bar, like the reusable bubble bars that they have now. So you just hold it under the water stream, and you can reuse it a couple times. And here's the soap. Um, and here's a shampoo. This is a real one-off-y kind of a product because they never made this ever at, at the store. It was only in this particular gift set. And they made mounds and mounds of creamy banana bubbles. I just love them. So I, when I, I remember when I bought these, I, I think I bought like four or five. So <laughs> this is uh, my last or second to the last that, uh, that I have. So now let's look at some really yummy looking products. Let's see if we can find these. I, f I find these these pictures in this thing, and I just look at it and say, is that something to eat, or is or is that a product? For instance, here's we've got this uh, strawberry and ginger body mask, right? And um, I know that Lush had a face mask, and it was called Strawberry Boat. And it had strawberries and it had ginger in there. So I don't, uh, this is strawberries and ginger. So I'm wondering if it's at all the same. So it does not look yummy. Ooh. And here we have the little bambinos. Aren't they cute? Speaking of bambinos, CTG had a range for young ones back then, and that, which was called Baby Revels. And they had all kinds of products. Um, here's, they made a product, uh, Lush made a product called Assisi, which is a, a shampoo for little ones. And many of us older Lushies, uh, who were not children, loved that smell. Um, I would describe it as the same smell as the Ickle Baby Bot Ballistic. It's a... Uh, it's got, uh, as I recall, chamomile and lavender and something else like that. And here's, here's called a CC test. Let's read this. Using cell culture, this test was developed to measure a product's potential for irritation, specifically for use in producing the Baby Revels range. Mild and gentle products, such as those for use on babies and children, should have low readings. Infant shampoo has a result of one on the scale below, whereas products for adults or to give certain effects, like adding volume, can read higher. Black Tang shampoo has a result of five on the scale. So... We've got something called a knapsack, and it's got some cream, baby oil, baby cream, marigold soap, three bambinos, and some baby lotion. And the bambinos, this is interesting here, the bambinos have the same exact things in it that the Lush Ickle Baby Bath Ballistic had. Lush used to for many, many, many years sold a small ballistic called Ickle Baby Bath, B-A-F-F. -F. You can see that in the Lush PB Works Wiki, see what a picture of that is. And it was one of my favorite scents, and even though it was sold as, as a bath ballistic for children and it was very small, I would buy three or four of them and have that in the tub for myself because it's such a sweet, young, light, fresh, and airy fragrance. It's just gorgeous. And so a CC shampoo was made in this same fragrance. And I still have a bottle of it somewhere, and I don't know why I didn't get it. Um, because I'd love to show that to you, maybe in another CTG video, because there's just so many, so many products in here. It's, uh, it's really a lot of... Uh, video time here to go through everything.
right, that was the uh, CTG catalog tour, and um, I'm really grateful that I was able to um, look at these extraordinary CTG catalogs, and um, I thank you. You know who you are. And um, if you viewers have any questions or if you want me to go over something in more detail, um, just let me know, and I'll try my best to, uh, to help and um, to answer any questions. So if you enjoy this video, please subscribe for other videos or like my video and uh, tell your friends. And until next time, we'll talk to you later and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.